Miss You by Blink-182. Uh, this is how you can play it on the acoustic guitar. Uh, let's give it a go. This is using a treble pedal technique, which is where you're gonna take your little fingers and leave them on the bottom two strings, on the B string and the E string at the third fret. We've also got our capo on the fourth fret to help keep this, this uh, our guitars in tune with the song. We're gonna start with the G chord. This is the same as doing another, like a regular G, except we have those two little fingers on the bottom there. So we're gonna put our first finger on the A string at the second fret as well, and then our middle finger on the top string on the third fret. And that's our G. Next up in the verse, we're gonna shift to a G slash F sharp. All that means is your first finger is gonna come up to the top and your middle finger comes off. And we're gonna try and block that A string. All that means is that your first finger, instead of being really up and clean and clear, you wanna have it just a little lower so that it blocks the string. Because when you strum, you won't hear that string at all. Then we've got E minor seven. You can do it two ways. You can just use one finger like that on the A string on the second fret. Or you can put your middle finger underneath it as well. They're very, very similar. So it's whatever you feel like. After that, you go back to your G slash F sharp. And that's the verse. So we've got G slash F sharp. And E minor seven. And G slash F sharp again. In terms of how I'm strumming it, I'm hitting the top string first. Then I've got like some strumming in there. Uh, it doesn't have to be really precise or specific, but if you want something specific, I'm going down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay? Or you could just do whatever and it'll probably sound fine. Like, check this out. Okay, that's a little bit busy. What if I do this? Like that sounds fine. Uh, and if you're just getting a little bit stuck and hung up on changing between the chords, just do one strum. The angel from my nightmare, the shadow of the background of the morgue, the unsuspecting victim of darkness in the valley. We can live like Jack and Sally if we want. That works just fine. It's like we're doing one of those classy, real stripped back, kind of soulful versions of it. Or whatever they say those things are. Right, cool. Uh, after that, then we'll go into the chorus, right? Uh, this, this is, there's only two parts to it. There's that verse, and then there's the chorus movement. There are a few more chords in here, but we're still keeping those little fingers down on the bottom, on the third fret, for both those bottom two strings. Then, we've got our G. That's the first one. And then you're going to shift into an A7 sus4, which is long, but it's only one finger. Well, one extra finger. The first finger goes on the D string on the second fret, and that's it. Right? There's your A7 sus4. Then you're going to E minor 7, which is the same as what you were doing in the verse. So one finger on the A string second fret. And then we've got our D sus4 which is our first finger going down to the G string on the second fret. Um, and then we have a C add nine, which is our first finger going to the D two, and then our middle finger coming up to A three. Let's go through that again. So we've got our G with our first two fingers up the top, an A seven with our first finger going down a string, an E minor seven where the first finger is gonna go up, D sus4, where the first finger is going to go down to the G string. And then C add 9, where our first finger comes up and our middle finger comes back to life. On the A string at the third fret. Let's, I'm going to put this guitar right up to the camera. Look real close at this, because this is not as hard as it may seem. Our G. Our A7. Our E minor 7 and our D sus4, then our C add 9 at the end. 
G, A7, E minor 7, D sus 4, and to C add 9. And again, if you're just getting started on moving through those types of chords, do one strum. Make it easy. Make it easy so you can do it all without too much stress. And we'll get. Don't waste your time on me. You're already the voice inside my head. Don't waste your time on me. You're already the voice inside my head. Just like that. If you want to strum for the chorus, start with the one. All right, and then you move on to two maybe for the G and the A7. And the E minor seven, and the D sus four, and then give C eight strums. And then double that up, so we're gonna go. feels easy, try putting in all the ups as well and eventually you'll get to this point where you can't possibly fit any more in. You get... And it's starting to sound a bit ridiculous, like there's just too much going on here. And then, so what a guitarist will do is they'll drop out probably the second beat or something and we'll get... So there's some like, you know, you've got a lot of room in the strumming in this song to just kind of play with it and make it your own. The only thing that you really need to try and make sure you do is change at the right time. So, right, if you need more time to change, strum less, make it easy. If uh, that's feeling easy, make it harder. Double up the amount of strums you're doing. If that's easy, go twice as many again until you find that point where everything just falls apart. And then you come back a little bit and make it, you know, more like what you want. Right, well I hope that helps. We've got the song sheet down the bottom as well. Um, that'll just take you to my website and there's the sheet there and it's all free or whatever. You just click on it so you can save a copy and just have it sitting in front of you. Uh, until next time, if you've got anything you want, like just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll get to it when I can and uh, try and do this. I mean, this is a song that someone had actually asked for uh, on the comments, so yeah. Anyway. Take it easy, and until later, I'll miss you, miss you.